Mr. Speaker, sir, members have asked for the reasons behind the continued use of Mobile Guardian's Device Management Application, or DMA, after the data breach incident in April this year, details of the technical issue in July, and the cybersecurity incident in August. The support provided to affected students and our approach to using technology for teaching and learning following this episode. So let me first recap the purpose of the DMA, or the Device Management Application. The DMA supports students as they learn to use their personal learning devices, or PLD, safely and responsibly. For example, the DMA blocks students' access to undesirable internet content such as gambling or pornography and sets screen time limits. I will now share what happened in April and the actions taken by MOE. The incident in April was due to poor password management practice within Mobile Guardian, allowing the attacker to gain unauthorized access to Mobile Guardian's management portal, which led to the data breach. To ensure continued safe use, Mobile Guardian immediately locked down its admin accounts and mandated all account holders to change their passwords. As I had told this House in May, Mobile Guardian's management portal is used for administrative purposes and does not have the ability to change any configuration on students' PLDs. The Mobile Guardian app was thus not affected during the April incident. MOE immediately registered strong dissatisfaction to Mobile Guardian over the incident and asked that an independent forensic investigator be appointed to evaluate Mobile Guardian systems and processes and make recommendations to prevent a recurrence. Subsequent findings from the forensic investigator pointed to poor password management practices and Mobile Guardian responded by implementing additional security measures such as strengthening authentication controls and fixing vulnerabilities. These enhancements were deployed on 31st May. On the night of 30th May, a member of the public reported a potential vulnerability in the Mobile Guardian app to MOE. Our IT security team immediately investigated the report in the morning of 31st May. However, as explained earlier, because Mobile Guardian had rolled out a patch just before, attempts to replicate the vulnerability disclosed by the member of public was not successful. An independent certified penetration tester engaged by Mobile Guardian to conduct additional penetration tests in June further confirmed that this vulnerability reported by the member of the public had been closed. The independent test uncovered new vulnerabilities which Mobile Guardian had committed to fix. However, before it could complete the work, some schools started up reporting on 30 of July that some PLDs had lost the ability to connect to internet and in some cases, total loss of usage. We quickly established then that this glitch was not related to the April data breach incident. Neither was it a cyber attack. Instead, it was due to a human error by an M Mobile Guardian engineer who configured a wrong expiry date, causing the app to stop working to rectify the misconfiguration, an online update to the Mobile Guardian application was immediately deployed to all iPad users. 